Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the first meeting of the Writers to the Signet Dependents Annuity Fund Amendment Scotland Bill Committee. Can I remind all those present, including members, that mobile phones should be turned off? The first item on our agenda today is the Declaration of Interests and Impartiality. In accordance with Section 3 of the Code of Conduct, I will invite members to declare any interests relevant to the remit of the committee. Can I remind members that declarations should be brief but sufficiently detailed to make clear to any listener the nature of the interest? In accordance with Rule 9A.5.4A of Standing Orders, I also invite members to declare that he or she will act impartially and will base decisions solely on the evidence and information provided to the committee. And I'll begin with my own. I can confirm that I do not have any declarable interests relevant to the remit of this committee. And I also declare that I will act impartially in my capacity as a member of the Writers to the Signet Dependents Annuity Fund Amendment Scotland Bill Committee and will base my decisions solely on the evidence and information provided to the committee. And can I now invite Alison Harris to make her declaration and declare her interests. I have no declarable interests and I declare that I will act impartially in my capacity as a member of the Writers to the Signet Dependents Annuity Fund Amendment Scotland Bill Committee and will base decisions solely on the evidence and information provided to the committee. Thank you. Can I now invite Tom Arthur to make his declaration? I can confirm that I have no declarable interests relevant to the remit of this committee. However, I will take this opportunity to remind the committee that I am the Parliamentary Liaison Officer to the Cabinet Secretary for Justice, and I declare that I will act impartially in my capacity as a member of the Writers to the Signet Dependents Annuity Fund Amendment Scotland Bill Committee, and will base decisions solely on the evidence and information provided to the committee. Thank you. Our second item today is to choose a convener. The, par the Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish Conservative and Unionist Party are eligible for nomination as convener of this committee. And I am pleased to announce that Alison Harris is the Scottish Conservative and Unionist Party nominee for this po post. Are we agreed to choose Alison Harris as our convener? Agreed. agreed. I can, can I congratulate Alison Harris on her appointment and I briefly suspend to hand over to the Chair for the, remem the, the remainder of the proceedings. Thank you, Mary. I will now restart the meeting. Agenda item three is to decide whether to take agenda item four and the issues relating to our preliminary stage report in private. Agenda item four is to consider our approach to the scrutiny of this bill at the preliminary stage and agree our work programme. The outcome of this decision will be publicly available when it is published on the bill web page on the Parliament's website. Are we agreed to take agenda item four in private? Agreed. We are also to consider whether any future discussions in relation to issues relating to our preliminary stage report, including consideration of our draft report, should be taken in private. Are we agreed to consider any issues for our preliminary stage report and our draft preliminary stage report in private at future meetings? Agreed. Okay, now we now move on to agenda item four to consider our programme. Oh, sorry, our approach to scrutiny of the bill at the preliminary stage. And as just agreed, we now move into private session. I will briefly suspend the meeting to allow any members of the public to leave the room.